If you're not familiar with the aviation industry, Embraer might not ring a bell, however. It actually stands as the third biggest manufacturer of commercial jets, trailing only behind the two aviation behemoths Boeing and Airbus. For several decades, Boeing has held sway over the market, with Airbus joining the lead in more recent years. Nevertheless, Embraer, with its E-2 series of aircraft, appears poised to challenge the supremacy of these two industry titans. So what is so special about the E-2 series that can make it a formidable contender? And how is it going to dethrone Boeing and Airbus? We will find out in this episode. But first of all, if Embraer and the E-2 series are completely new to you, here's some information you need to know about them before we delve into the discussion. So who is this airline? Embraer, or Empresa Brasileira de Aeron Utica S, a headquartered in S.O. Joe's Dos Campos, Brazil, is a prominent player in the aerospace sector, renowned for its diverse portfolio that includes commercial, executive, and military aircraft. Since its inception in 1969 as a state-run entity, Embraer has undergone a significant transformation, particularly after its privatization in 1994, which propelled it into a period of dynamic growth and innovation on an international scale. This company designs, manufactures, and sells not only commercial, but also agricultural and military aircraft. Even though it may not be as widely recognized, its influence and importance in the aerospace sector are considerable since it has become a leader in the regional jet market and is listed among the world's top 100 defense contractors. What about the E-2 series? This aircraft series is a strategic advancement of Embraer's E-Jet family, representing the company's commitment to continuous improvement and market adaptation. Launched with the Embraer 170 and the Embraer 190 models in 2004, these jets were specifically designed to serve the regional jet market, offering optimized solutions for short to medium haul air travel. The E-2 series includes three variants, the E-175, E-190, and the E-195. The cabin configurations of each variant are adaptable, with the E-175 seating between 80 and 90 passengers, the E-190 seating between 97 and 114, and the E-195 seating between 120 and 146. The range varies by model, with the E-175 covering 2,200 nautical miles, the E-190 covering 2,850, and the E-195 reaching up to 3,300 nautical miles. Passenger comfort is a central aspect of the Embraer E-2 series. The E-2 jets also boast an enhanced cabin design, offering passengers a more comfortable and enjoyable flying experience with features like larger windows, improved cabin pressure, and spacious overhead bins. The 2-2 seating configuration ensures that every passenger has either an aisle or window seat, eliminating the middle seat and providing a more spacious and comfortable experience. The E-2 jets also offer increased luggage space, which is about 40% larger than other market configurations, allowing passengers to store their carry-on items more efficiently. Moreover, for those seeking a more premium experience, the E-2 series has the potential to offer a much more comfortable business class. In terms of technology, these next-generation aircraft are distinguished by their state-of-the-art technology, including new aerodynamically advanced wings, full fly-by-wire flight controls, and the Pratt and Whitney PW-1000G Deer turbofan engines. The E-175 model is equipped with two PW-1700G engines, each capable of producing approximately 15,000 pounds of thrust. The E-195 models are fitted with two PW-1900G engines each, with each engine generating up to 22,000 pounds of thrust. These engines belong to the innovative pure power geared turbofan GTF family, renowned for their superior efficiency and enhanced performance capabilities. This combination results in significant improvements in fuel efficiency, reduced emissions, and lower noise levels, thereby reinforcing Embraer's dedication to sustainability and operational excellence. For airlines, the E-2 series promises greater operational flexibility, cost effectiveness, and the ability to open new routes, thus providing a competitive edge in the regional aviation market. Now, Back to the questions at the beginning of this video, what is so special about this E-2 series that can make it a formidable contender, and how is it going to dethrone Boeing and Airbus? 
efficiency should be the first factor to be mentioned. The transition to Pratt and Whitney's pure power geared turbofan engines from the older General Electric engines in the previous E-Jets has resulted in a significant improvement for the E2 series. Specifically, there's a reported increase in efficiency by 17.3% over the former models and a 16% edge in performance over similar jets. These figures are particularly meaningful for airlines focused on reducing fuel expenses. Indeed, the E-2 is acclaimed as the most fuel-efficient aircraft in its class, with fewer than 150 seats. Secondly, although the E-2 jetliners are more compact compared to their counterparts, they offer a surprisingly roomy interior. This is attributed to their innovative cabin layout, which prioritizes passenger comfort without compromising on efficiency or cost-effectiveness. A significant benefit of the E-2 jets is their capability to land at airports with challenging conditions, such as short or narrow runways, thanks to a specialized cockpit feature that facilitates steep landings, ideal for remote island destinations. And most importantly, the E-2 aircraft stand out for their eco-friendly design aimed at minimizing carbon dioxide emissions. By opting for these smaller, yet sufficiently spacious E-2 models over larger, less efficient planes, airlines have the potential to cut their carbon footprint by up to 30%. The shift towards sustainable aviation fuel is a key industry trend in the pursuit of greener flying practices. In a fortunate development for carriers, the E-Jet E-2 series, particularly the E-195, has triumphantly conducted a flight test using entirely sustainable aviation fuel. Additionally, these aircraft are exceptionally quiet and considered to be among the most silent in the industry. In fact, when measured against an aircraft like Airbus A220, they generate approximately 11% less noise, which is advantageous for airlines operating in noise-sensitive airports. This eco-friendly design is significant because recently, European nations are actively striving to reduce their carbon footprint and promote climate-friendly policies, which have significant implications for the aviation industry. France, for instance, is considering a ban on short-haul flights where train travel is feasible within 2.5 hours, affecting many of Europe's busiest routes. Concurrently, the Netherlands plans to cut Amsterdam Airport's flight capacity by over 10% to curb noise and emissions, a move that has sparked concern among smaller airlines about securing flight slots. Belgium is also taking steps to tax older, noisier aircraft and private jets, influencing airlines to phase out less eco-friendly planes. These initiatives reflect a broader commitment to environmental stewardship and could accelerate the adoption of sustainable aviation technologies like those found in Embraer's E-2 jetliners, which are designed to align with such eco-conscious trends. Despite their relative novelty, the E-2 jetliners have seen a surge in popularity as the aviation industry shifts towards more sustainable practices. As of April 2024, the E-2 program has seen a total of 306 orders, with 112 aircraft delivered and in service, showcasing Embraer's significant presence and continued influence in the global aviation industry. The E-175 model, in particular, has been a highlight with American Airlines planning to expand its fleet significantly. With the post-pandemic recovery, Embraer's E-2 series is well-positioned for success especially in Asia where demand for air travel is soaring. The focus on sustainability is expected to further drive the growth of the E-2 jetliners, making them a promising investment for the future of eco-friendly aviation. As for competing with Airbus and Boeing, the E-2's sales success will depend on commercial deals and airline preferences. However, its efficiency, flexibility, technological advancements, and passenger comfort, along with its competitive pricing, make it a strong contender. In essence, the Embraer E-2 is poised to challenge the industry's leading players and is a noteworthy addition to the global fleet of aircraft. Whether it will dethrone Airbus and Boeing remains to be seen, but it certainly brings compelling features to the table. If you've flown on a Net2, please feel free to share your experience in the comments section.